there's not too much separating yourselves and Alton Farnworth in the league, is there? And uh, I think you beat them, did you, uh, a couple of weeks back? I mean, is that is that use? Is that a hindrance? Or I mean, what, what, does that all, all that go out the window for this one on Saturday? I'm, I'm not. I'm not really too sure. I mean, we went up there on the the first day of the season and they beat us, um, which was a good game, very close. Uh, they came up a couple of weeks ago. We beat them. Uh, how many of the lads who played against them last time? will play on Saturday. I'm, I'm not certain of the figures. Certainly the lads who played in the first game up there, again, we could be 10 different players. That's the way our season's gone from, from one week to the next. We could be 10 different players. So I, I don't think you can read too much into it. I know Alton are a, are a good club and, and they're on the up. And, you know, you know we enjoy playing Alton because they're, they're a nice bunch. We get on with them. Uh, but, you know, there, there always seems to be a a good rivalry with, with with good spirits and everybody gets on. We usually get a good game on the field. There's, there never seems to be anything going on on the field or off the field. So, if you know to go to a final and play them, who'll win? I'm not sure, but I'm I'm certain it'll be a good day out. Big thank you for joining us. And uh, before we get to this weekend's cup final, uh, just a bit of a, a general catch up. Uh, how's the season gone thus far uh, for the club? Uh, it's been a little bit of a struggle for us this year, if I'm being honest, with the uh, player availability and uh, and such like. Uh, fortunately, we've got a quite a large squad with two teams, um, so we have got all, we've fulfilled all the fixtures and we managed to get some decent results. But it's it's not really the season we were looking for after the sort of success of last year and the success in the Challenge Cup early rounds and. Um, we were expecting a little bit more, really, but player availability has made it a. It's been a bit of a long season, really, and we're only halfway through it. All that being said, though, uh, through to a cup final, uh, I'm not doing too badly in the league. Uh, so, with that regard, and and with player av- availability, you must be pretty happy with that side of things. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, I mean, we're pretty pleased in it, it's it's stuff we've built on in the past that's getting us through now uh, today because we we have got a decent squad and. Uh, you know, as it as it suggests with the league and the and the cup, with the lads who are coming in are, are filling in admirably, and you know we're we're doing pretty well. So you you'd have to say it's been a really successful season. But with the injuries we've had and the, and the clientele missing, we don't really feel that we've achieved what we could possibly have achieved if if we didn't have all the long term injuries and uh, we're, we're a lad up playing over in Australia who's one of our decent players and. You know, quite a few things where we're probably maybe about 10 or 12 players down from what we expected to be at the start of the season. So, But on the plus side, we have been able to bring lads through and, and obviously they're doing quite a good job. And with regards to the, the club more generally, um, how's, obviously we're coming off the back of COVID uh, and disruption, disruption to the community game. Um, how's, how's the club doing off the pitch? We're doing very well. I don't know if you've... Uh, if you've been down to Oral St James's lately, I mean, we, we've had a new clubhouse built that was built through COVID. Um, the, the club's really fantastic. You know, the facilities that we've got down there are, are second to none and the changing rooms are really smart. We've got a new clubhouse. The pitches are really good. So as regards to that, everything's, you know, you, you know we're, we're really pleased with everything we've got and the way, where we're going and especially how the, the club supporters and, you know, what we've got as a club because... Not long ago, you know, maybe 10 years ago, there was no match, we didn't have anything. And now we have our own clubhouse, nice pitches and, you know, everything to go with it. And it obviously affects us in in the type of players we get. And, I mean, we, we, we try and keep most of the players local. And most of, all of our team on Saturday will always be local lads. So, as, as far as the, the club's going and, and the way it's sort of feeding the local community, we're, we're really, really pleased with that. Um, let's talk about this cup final um, this weekend. I mean, just before we get to on the pitch, what does this mean for, for the club? You know, a big, uh, you know, show showpiece event like this over at Salford City Roosters in Eccles, um, going to be on our league as well. Um, what what does this mean for the club? Do you feel more generally? Yeah, I, I think it's good because we're well, what we're trying to do as a club and what we're trying to promote is is that community feel. So the the, the youngsters in the club can look and, and say, well, there is an opportunity there for me. You know, if if I don't sign for Wigan or send tellings, then there's an opportunity to go ahead and play for the open age. I mean, we had a, a women's open age cup final last week against Salford down at, down at St. James's. 
So for boys and girls, there's an opportunity now to look and say, well, yeah, if I don't get a scholarship or I don't, you, you know, get a professional contract, there is something to aim at. And, and I think it's great from the RFL as well that they give us these opportunities. So throughout the club, people can say that there is, there is something to aim at. You know, it's not the be all and end all being a professional player. You can go and get yourself a job and enjoy an amateur career and still have, you know, those days out and, you know, still be on the television. I mean, we, we were we were on our league, I think, when we was in the Challenge Cup early in the year against the Army. I think it was on BBC as well. So, you know, there is opportunities for lads to get out there and play and, and enjoy the rugby and, and also showcase what they've got. So, yeah, big thanks to, you know, the RFL for for what they've done in the North West Counties Leagues for organising this and obviously, you know, Salford uh, City for um, hosting the event on Saturday. I'm sure it'll be a great event. And with regards to the challenge on the pitch, um, what, there's not too much separating yourselves and Alton Farm within the league, is there? And uh, I think you beat them, did you, uh, a couple of weeks back? I mean, is that is that use? Is that a hindrance? Or I mean, what, what, does that all, all that go out the window for this one on Saturday? I'm, I'm not. I'm not really too sure. I mean, we went up there on the the first day of the season and they beat us, um, which was a good game, very close. Uh, they came up a couple of weeks ago. We beat them. Uh, how many of the lads who played against them last time will play on Saturday I'm, I'm not certain of the figures certainly the lads who played in the first game up there again we could be 10 different players that's the way our season's gone from from one week to the next we could be 10 different players so I, I don't think you can read too much into it I know Al- Alton are a, are a good club and, and they're on the up and you know, you know we enjoy playing Alton because they're, they're a nice bunch we get on with them uh, but you know there always seems to be a, a, a good rivalry with, with, with good spirits and everybody gets on we usually get a good game on the field There's, there never seems to be anything going on on the field or off the field so if you know to go to a final and play them will win I'm not sure but I'm, I'm certain it'll be a good day out and uh, one one step at a time one game at a time and all that but we're, we're... I think you touched upon it before. I think we've only just gone halfway through the, the league campaign, haven't we? So, um, I mean, what's your hopes for, for this season? And you're hoping, whatever the result of the weekend, it's a, it's a springboard to just continuing to uh, grow the club both on and off the pitch? Yeah, I, I think that's it. I mean, I, you know, you'll talk to a lot of coaches and, and they'll talk a lot about rugby. I mean, I, I've been involved at this club for, for 30 odd years. And yeah, I want to win every single game we're playing. But more importantly, I'd like somebody to be having this conversation with you in, you know, 15, 20 years time from Oral St. James and and still being able to say that we're turning a full team out of Oral Lads and, you, you know, we're still reasonably successful. So, as a coach, yeah, I mean, I'm going into Saturday's game and I'd, I'd love to win it. Is it the be-all and end-all? For me personally, I'm, I'm more proud of the fact that we're going into that game with, with all lads who, who live in that community so, you know, I, I don't know about other teams. Every other team might be exactly the same, but I, I doubt it. We, I, all our lads play Saturday we're from our catchment tour. And I think, I think that's the success story for us. If we can, you know, if we can get to that final Saturday and win, everybody would be really happy. If, if, if we don't win on Saturday, I mean, it, it, it's certainly not going to define our season. It's, a, it, it's another game and then we'll push on, win as many league games as we possibly can. Then we've got, there's a playoffs at the end of it where, I'm sure Alton will be involved in that as well. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a weird question for me because, you know, how, how I sort of glean success is not always the same as, you know, even other coaches at our club. But for me personally, the, like, you, like you, you know, you hinted at then, the, the day out for the club and, you know, the kudos of the club getting there and the opportunities for people within the club, to me, that's a little bit more important. But we'll certainly be picking a team that, that we think we can win and we'll be going all out to win it. Well, uh, Sean McHugh, uh, head coach at Oval St. James, big, big thank you for taking the time out of your day to, to join us and uh, all the best this weekend. Right, thanks, Ben. Thanks for your time, mate, and uh, hopefully catch you again.